30 degrees here today in Chicago and we are here to see some amazing cars at Gateway Classic Cars. Let's come on in, let's go. Hello, I'm here at Gateway Classic Cars and today I'm here with Cheryl and Brad. Before we watch the next video, we want to know a little bit about what Gateway Classic Cars is about. So Cheryl, why don't you let us know a little bit more? Um, Gateway Classic Cars is the largest uh, classic car consignment dealer in the world. And um, we have uh, 4 million hits on our own website alone. We have 16 locations across the country. And um, we're here Monday through Saturday, 9 to 5. People are welcome to come in anytime and just look at the vehicles. There's no admission fee. And uh, that's basically it. I'm the consignment specialist here, so I'd be happy to answer any questions anyone has. If they wanted to come by or call, I'm happy to help out. Also, if you have a car to consign, I'm the person you need to speak to. Just give me a call anytime at 708-444-4488. And uh, what location are you at? We're in uh, the Chicago location in Crete, Illinois. 1329 Commerce Drive in Crete. We're actually new here in the building. We were in Tinley for five years, and we recently moved to this beautiful new building here in Crete, and we're really happy to be here, be a part of the community. Okay, now Brad, can you let us know a little bit more about what Gateway Classic Cars yeah, absolutely. So obviously we are a classic car consignment dealership, but we also love to work with you know exotics, uh, modern muscle, anything late model like that. Um, so we definitely, we, you know, we'd love to try and sell for you or sell to you, anything that we can. What's going on? Make sure you come on and check us out. Uh, thanks for seeing us. I'm tied up, but hopefully we'll see you come by soon. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Don't Thank forget you. to share and like our videos. Thank you guys. Talk to you soon. We are here at Gateway Classic Cars, and now we know a lot about Mopars. Now, Nick, can you tell us a little bit about this one? Sure. So this is a 1969 Plymouth Roadrunner, which is uh, kind of like one of the more popular ones. Um, this one's especially cool. It's got a 440 V8 in it, which is uh, one of the bigger engines. I know a lot of people really get Hemi fever with these Chryslers. But uh, the 440 was definitely a very strong motor, and in factory form, it really made pretty close power, uh, a little bit bigger displacement motor. Um, what makes this one especially fun is that it's a four-speed manual transmission, so you get to power slam through all the gears, uh, definitely have a great time. You can see it's got the Hurst shifter in there, um, otherwise a pretty stock interior. Uh, the owner of this vehicle did throw a special kill switch in it to make it a little bit harder to steal, so it's something that... Uh, you really got to know this particular car to be able to get in and drive it. Um, but it's uh, got a really, really pretty shade of blue on it. Um, I don't know what the name of the color. It sounds like it was actually painted before the current owner took possession of it. But when you catch it in certain lights, it picks up a little bit of yellow, a little bit of purple, um, but mostly blue, very bright, a lot of silver uh, reflective metallic flake in it. It really looks nice. Um, it's got those big meaty tires on the back on those weld, uh, weld rims. Um, but it's, uh, it was designed as kind of like a street strip car, so it's got a lot of power, a um, lot of traction, but it's still something that you could jump in, take into the local cruise show, um, take it out to get groceries, or just have a fun cruise. Now, uh, can you show us the engine of the car? Sure, absolutely. Let me pop the hood. So, uh, like I said, it's got the uh, 440 Chrysler V8. Um, so you could see it in all its glory right there. It's had a little bit of, little bit of work done, just a little bit of a bigger cam, a little bit of a better ignition system, um, some exhaust work, you know, nothing major on the car, but uh, something to just help it breathe a little bit better and make a little bit more power. It's got a wind intake, which was uh, painted to match the rest of the engine, just to look a little bit more stealth. So that's kind of neat, uh, something to catch people by surprise with. One thing I do want to note about this is a lot of cars you'll see will end up putting aluminum radiators in there. Uh, the owner of this vehicle particularly wanted to leave the brass radiator just to keep that more original look to it, but you will notice that there's an electric fan that's been added just to help keep the car cool. So it's got the uh, standard mechanical fan, which any hot rodder knows is not very good when you're in stop and go traffic. So that auxiliary fan helps keep everything cool. You don't have any overheating issues uh, and it runs nice and safe no matter where you're going. Now, can we take a look at uh, the interior on the driver's side? Absolutely, be my guest. Step out of the way here. <laughs> so, 
So we love our Mopar cars. Now, Nick, thank you for showing us. Absolutely. Now, how many locations are you guys, do you guys have? Uh, so we're fortunate to have 16 different locations. Across all the locations, we've got about 2,700 cars. So we really have a huge inventory. We've been around since 99, so we've been able to grow and, and really bring an effective impact on the marketplace. All right, well, thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.